I certainly support reducing expenditures in the executive management team. When any difficulty comes up, the administrative response seems to be to hire another staff person to carry out a new or altered program, often as a permanent high-level executive. In this case, what you're seeing tonight is a second assistant city manager. We need additional staff to be hired at the lower level positions for workers, not at executive levels. We hired our new city manager to carry the load of the city manager, not to create a second in command uh, to make three very high level positions city manager, assistant city manager, and second assistant city manager. Instead of carrying that load, we are dispersing that load. Kathy Capriola worked tremendously hard, many, many long hours, and did a wonderful job during her tenure, and she had only five months of a three-day-a-week assistant. Well, yes, I'm sure she burned out under those circumstances. But we have only looked at five months so far since Regan was hired and going on sick. And I believe that a good traditional assistant city manager could make this uh, city hum. It's just a matter of getting that person in place. However, that is obviously not occurring. We have the people who would spend and create more management at the very top level. Well, we've been spending since the beginning of my term here on the council, and it started out with a new downtown smart station. We cannot continue to spend at this rate. This will not be a reduction overall. We are spending, adding positions, and it is not at all sustainable. You've heard sustainable over and over again tonight. Well, it's not sustainable. What you are going to be facing is various tax measures that will be put on the ballot soon enough. Our structural deficit is looking us in the face as we speak tonight. Major staff reorganization should be made within the context of the budgeting pro process rather than as sudden decisions precipitated by happenstance or perceived immediate need. The strategic plan has not been updated for the year in one third that I've been on the council, nor has the fiscal sustainability plan been revised in view of the passage of Measure C for permanent one quarter since sales tax increased rather than a half cent, as Michael Frank's financial calculations assume. This is ill-advised. This is poorly thought out. I cannot support this, and it will come back to haunt us. 